And of course, the latest development we are getting from that story is that co the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy has uh, written to the High Court, has made an urgent application, uh, and that is to contest that special seating. We will be speaking shortly to CIA Senator and a member of the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy, James Orengo, uh, on that. So do stay with us right here on KTN Prime. But let's take you through some of those contentious issues that are emerging in as far as the electoral law changes are uh, concerned. And the big one there, uh, the main issue is around uh, what means of uh, voting and transmission of results is going to be utilized. So currently the law stipulates technology is the way to go. However, Jubilee is seeking to have a fallback plan which is manual. So that is one of the areas there. IEBC to be allowed to procure technology six months uh, before the poll, of course, to allow for test runs and everything to be uh, looked into to ensure it's all good to go. However, procurement issues, tendering as well, have a reason, and some of these matters are before court. Moving on to the next uh, slide here, compliance with uh, campaign finance laws. Uh, the law currently requires that members submit their financial details to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission eight months to the election. They want that to move down to two months, saying eight months is unreasonable because at that particular point, it's even unclear who exactly will be able to make it to that uh, ballot paper. And then finally, there's the question of qualification of MPs and MCAs, the dicey suspension of degree and post-secondary school qualifications, the one that pushed forward uh, not to be implemented and seen uh, coming into force in next year's election, however, to be pushed forward to the 2022 election. So those some of the contentious issues that are being seen. However, the biggest one, and one perhaps if you've been watching and following the news, is around do we stay with technology as a country as we go to the elections, or as Jubilee argues, do we have a backup plan, have a manual system in the eventuality that technology fails? So that conversation coming up with Senator James Orengo shortly right here on KTN Prime. But let's uh, talk other news uh, this uh, time and move to a story about the doctors.